Hey guys, today on Low Carb with Jennifer, we are going to be making this delicious chicken cauliflower fried rice casserole. You can find this recipe on my blog, jenniferbands.com. Okay, to get started with our um, chicken cauliflower fried rice casserole, we need to cook our chicken. So I'm gonna use avocado oil. And we've got some diced uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We've got some right, diced boneless, skinless chicken thighs that we're going to cook. before we add them to the casserole. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure we season them really good with salt and pepper. very long to cook it all. Okay, our chicken is just about done. You really don't have to get it cooked um, completely all the way through because we're going to bake this in the oven. So I'm going to add it to my um, cauliflower rice that I have. And this is, of course, you know me, rice, already riced cauliflower from the freezer section. I used a 12 ounce package. So I'm just gonna spoon the chicken into this. Okay, now we're gonna get our vegetables prepared for our casserole. So I'm gonna add in a red bell pepper and also some shredded carrots. Just get the seeds out and dice this up. And you don't have to use a whole pepper if you want, don't want to. You, you could use half of the pepper. You could use a different color pepper, whatever you want, because you are the boss. Okay, we're almost done with this pepper. Come on now, the cutting board keeps sliding. Okay. So there's our pepper. Clean this mess up. We're also going to add in some shredded carrots, and I like to use shredded because I just I just don't like to chop vegetables. This is probably one of my least favorite things to do. And you don't have to add carrots if you don't want to. Oh man, this is looking good. So we've got all of our veggies in here. And that chicken is really hot. I think I need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Got a bigger bowl here. And now we can mix it. So then we're gonna add in some soy sauce. And that's a quarter of a cup. We're gonna add in some, um, some garlic powder and some onion powder and some ginger and stir that up it's looking good 
everything distributed evenly. This is going to be very delicious. So our last ingredient is, oh wait, I almost forgot. Fish sauce, we need to add in some fish sauce. And this just adds really good flavor. We just need like a teaspoon and some sesame oil and just a teaspoon. You really want to be careful with that because it is potent. And now we need to add our eggs to bind it all together. So we're going to do three eggs. Beat them a bit. Okay, and now we can add them to the bowl. And mix. for our casserole dish. And we're gonna bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Just gonna get it all in there. Try not to make a mess. veggies and the cauliflower it's going to be delicious and that is ready to bake okay our casserole is all done and it looks really delicious so I'm going to get some out and put it on our plate and this casserole is this casserole is light so you can eat you know a pretty good sized serving and it won't break the calorie bank I'm gonna move this out of the way and we're going to garnish this with a few green onions, garnish our plate, Ooh. <laughs> that is perfect. So this chicken cauliflower fried rice casserole is like around 300 calories a serving and I know you're gonna love it. So I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find the recipe link in the description below or you can go to jenniferbands.com and search cauliflower fried rice casserole. But we will see you guys next time. Bye.